Hey y'all, it's your favorite on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to Nightcap YouTube channel so you never miss a single live stream or video of myself, Ocho, and Gil. Remember, Nightcap doesn't happen without you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you. The Knicks beat the Sixers, 104 to 101. The Knicks in the last 30 seconds, they were down, down five. Jalen Brunson hits a, a three. Hart, Josh Hart steals. DiVincenzo mm -hmm. three. That Nova connection. All three of these guys went to Villanova. All three of these guys won a national championship. And uh, they pull it out. You could easily make a case that this game, the Sixers probably could have mm -hmm. been up 2-0. But they find themselves down 2-0. Uh, uh, two, two, uh, uh, yeah. oh, two, and they should have mm -hmm. been up 2-0. And look. Tonight, Tyrese Maxey, 35 oh. points. Joel Embiid, 34 points. But the rest of the six of starters, mm, they didn't do too nah. well, Ocho. They had 32 points. So basically, Maxey and, uh, and Maxey outscored the rest of the starters by himself, and so did Joel yeah. Embiid. Man, it's, it's obvious. Um, two against I, five. Basically, it's damn near, damn near two against five. Max Maxey came yeah. out. He had an illness. He missed shoot around. Still came out. To the he had the first nine points of the game, 20 points in the first half, which is a career high for him. Hell, from the night, he shot, what, 12 or 22 from the field? And obviously ended with 35, yep. 8, and 10. I mean, Embiid, what more can you ask from him? What, I mean, what percentage do you think Embiid playing at? What, 70, 70, 75? 50. 50? 50, 60, 50, 60. He got no right. lift. Yeah. He got no lift. I mean, they did a better job of uh, of keeping them off right. the glass. I mean, uh, they only they they remember they lost the rebounding battle by twenty two in the first game. They only lost it by mm. two. Um, they only lost the offensive rebounding by two. So they did a better job. Outshot them from the free, uh, field. Outshot them from the three point line. Uh, um, the Knicks outshot them from the field. I mean, from the free throw line. Um, turnovers weren't that bad. I mean, the, the Sixers had 10, the Knicks had seven, but see a, a lot of times you're like, well, the rebounding, you know, they, they did a better job mm -hmm. rebounding, but when did those offensive rebounds occur? Mm -hmm. The last two possessions when they got three, four yep. cracks at you, Kyle Lowry, I don't, you too, you, you're a vet. You got to call time out right. in that situation. Just call time out. He panics, try to get it in quick. He doesn't get it in quick. He throws him into mm -hmm. the trap. They trap him. Ball. They get the ball. Ball swings around. DiVincenzo, boom. Three. At the, at the, uh, the roof comes mm -hmm. off the garden. And now what you're like, you're 30 seconds away from going home, being 1-1, one -one, and you walk out the building, you're down 0-2. Well, hell, the fact. I just don't know. I mean, the fact that Go ahead. You, you talk about. Well, the coach is supposed to is responsible for that timeout during that during that during that situation, right? So this this is this, he this, said. This, this, Nick this Nurse said he called time. timeout. Second time there's been a a coaching blunder with Mister uh, with Mister Nur is it Mister Nurse? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nick Nurse. It's, it's yeah. the second time there's been a questionable game in the strategy that he didn't really fulfill that might have cost him the game, which is why they're down 0-2 now. Kyle Lowry is a fifth. How long has Kyle Lowry been in the league? 15 years, 16 years, 17 years? He has the ball in his hand. He they have a timeout. You can run the bait, you can run the line. Call timeout. Mm. He's supposed to be an extension of the coach. That's what Kyle, everybody tells you what Kyle Lowry, he's an extension right. of the coach. He's a leader. So third three years, so 19. So 18, he's, a, he's been in the league 18 yeah, you got, years. You got to be careful, though. You got to be careful in that situation, calling the timeout, not knowing. You're supposed to know. Yeah. He's supposed to oh, Joe, no. You're supposed to know that. It's just like you. You're supposed to know. We ain't got no timeouts. I need to get right. out of bounds. Yeah. Oh, we got a timeout. Everything's in play. The middle of the field. Okay. Let we trying to save mm -hmm. our timeout. If all costs, get yeah. out of bounds. We don't we don't need that extra yards and get trapped inbound. And we have to burn a timeout. Take less yards, get out of bounds. Kyle Lowry has to know in that call situation 
we have a timeout and we use the timeout and we get an opportunity to advance right. the ball. He's got to know that. Mm, that's tough. That's tough. Hell, Jalen Brunson in game one was eight of 26. In game two, he was eight of 29. Uh, OG Ananobi, 10 points. Uh, Hardenstein had 14 mm-hmm. points, but four offensive rebounds. A huge block, a very huge block. Brunson had 24 points, but on 29 yeah. shots. Josh Hart, another monster night. 21 points, 15 rebounds, three assists, two steals, two blocks. DiVincenzo, 19 points, three assists, four rebounds. And no shot bigger than – that might be one of the biggest shots in Nick, Nick's mm-hmm. history is the shot yeah. that he hit. That's a good one. Jalen, matter of fact, you know what's funny? Is great shot by Jalen Brunson towards the end of the game, but he's shooting 12 55 from the field. But he gets to the line. Yes. 12 from the line. He's 12 for 15 from the free throw line through these two games. Mm-hmm. He's great on defense. And I think that's why people are ignoring you know, the poor shooting so far in the first two games. No, they're ignoring the poor shooting because they're winning. Ah, winning cures all. So if they were losing, it would be an issue. He would be right. getting crushed. Okay. He'd be getting crushed. But that's how it goes. You understand that. We know that. When you're losing, yeah. it magnifies everything. When you win, it's a lot of yeah, shit you can sweep under the rug. It's a lot of absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the two home teams, Probably should have mm-hmm. lost, but it just shows you their grit because they good. They find ways to win. The Nuggets mm-hmm. found a way to win. Anyway, the Knicks found a way to win, and they go mm-hmm. on the road. Uh, and you know, now that I think about it, right? I'm thinking before yeah. Brunson came to the Knicks, he was with Dallas. Do mm-hmm. I mean, man? I I don't know. You would know better than I do. Would Mark Cuban feel some type of way in knowing he could have had Brunson, Kyrie? And Luca and, and things would have been a little easy over there. Or no, no, you were able to get Kyrie because you didn't sign. You didn't sign Brunson. You could have signed Brunson right. to an extension. I think you could have gave him three years for right. fifty five. They waited till after the season. He played so well in Luca's right. absence. Now he's not going to take a mm-hmm. deal. So now he knows if he hits the market, he's going to okay. get a mega okay. deal. So he wouldn't have been there regardless. No, no, no matter what. No, no, no. Somebody was going to pay him more than what Dallas. Now, when Dallas realized, he's like, nah, I'm good. Because when you had a chance right. to sign me want to. for three for 55, right. you didn't. He goes to the Knicks, and I think he got five for 100. Mm. So, and he needed the ball. He needed his own team. That's Lucas' team. Oh, I see what you mean. That's Lucas' whoa, team. Whoa, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. He As needed, a point guard, actually, that's huh? your team. As a point guard, because the ball is on your hand majority of the time, always. You are the facilitator. You are the leader. The, the offense is run through that's you. That's Lucas' team. The Mavericks is Luka Doncic's team. I don't care who else you bring on that team. It's his team. What position you think Luka play? PG, he's the point guard. And he just led the league in scoring. That's his team. Brunson needed his own okay. team. He couldn't be what he couldn't be what he is now. There, you have to understand that. Bi, Bi couldn't be what he did. Be uh, what what Brandon Ingram is in in in, in right. with the Pelicans. He couldn't be that in L.A. LeBron and AD. He needs the ball. Sometimes it's okay to let a guy go and flourish elsewhere. Okay. Yeah, you miss like man, what we could, but you're not well, gonna be that with LeBron well, and AD. Expl- hey, well, explain something to me real quick. I, I know, I know, we off track. We were talking about, we talk about the Knicks and the 76ers. Well, how the hell does Luka and goddamn Kyrie Kyrie work? When I think, when I think Kyrie, when I picture Kyrie, I'm thinking of someone that always needs the ball in their hands, though. So how the hell is that? Kyrie is tremendous at playing with off the ball. Brunson needs the ball, but still, although Kyrie is unbelievable, because guess what? Kyrie played with LeBron, so he understands how to play off okay. the ball. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Um. But no, he he he's had an unbelievable season. He's going to be an all-NBA player. 